Oh, you got it? No, nah, brother. You're good. Praise God. If I got part of your grill, it's just going to be gooder and gooder. Right. <laughs> just got this yeah. one. I ain't got the part of it anyway. <laughs> oh, praise God. Praise God. Who's happy to be here It's tonight? about time. Turn on your microphone, please. Well, I'm glad I did that without screaming into the mic. So. No, I'll scream into the mic, honey. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. God. There we go. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. So, you guys ready to go? Y'all yes. ready to get into it? Yes. Okay. Do you remember what we talked about last week? Anybody? Anybody? Dealer? Anybody? Insanity. Not me. Okay, I heard it. Insanity, overflow, affirm. Affirm. Y'all get that? Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. So, affirm, overflow, insanity. So, it all comes together. So, basically what we were talking about last week, we were talking about step six. Step five and step four, how they all come together and all of them, all of them talk about one thing, to collectively, how you speak. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? Fancy word, affirm, but how you speak. Wow. Amen? Because <laughs> affirm means to stay in your ground, to believe it with everything in you, and to speak life. Amen. No Amen. matter what you see. Right. No matter what anybody tells you, that's right. You know, Hallelujah. Because God said so. Amen. 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 That's what we talked about, and then we rolled into overflow. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, what does overflow mean to you? Hallelujah. What is overflow? Worship. Worship. Great one, Pastor. Anybody else? Pastor gets a gold star. Anybody else want to try? What's overflow? Setting the example. Setting the example. I'm sorry. What? Discipleship. I thought he said, oh, never yeah. Mind. Potato chips? Discipleship. Chip? <laughs> I'm like, okay, potato chips. All right. More than enough. More than enough. Okay, what would you say if I told you overflow is what we're supposed to be in all the time? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So it might be important to know what that means. Right? Preach. Okay, so. So oh, awesome. Okay, so if you were here Sunday and you watched Pastor's sermon, it was Thank incredible. You, Thank you, Holy Absolutely Lord. incredible. The way the Holy Spirit flows from him is just, it just blows me away all the time. So, all glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. by a show of hands, how many people talk to Father? Praise God. Praise God. Okay, hallelujah. That's fantastic. Okay, so, mm, so you can go and sit at the feet of our Father, and he will overflow you, yes. fill you up with Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen? Okay, and we talked about last week, without Holy Spirit, Father and Son, there is no power. Amen? Because Holy Spirit is the power. Amen. Right? Because Father spoke. Yep. And the words that he spoke is the word of God, who is Lord Jesus Christ, and then Holy Spirit did it. Amen. 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 Another way we like to say that is religion without Holy Spirit. Have you ever heard that term, faith without works is dead? Yes. Yeah. Who was our faith? Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Jesus. Amen. 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 And without Holy Spirit, it's dead. It's dead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So if you're ever in a place... Praise God no more. That doesn't talk about Holy Spirit and the power of Holy Spirit within us. Run. Amen. Run. Amen. Run. Amen. That is not the place to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So, but another part of overflow. <laughs> all right. How many of y'all been in the uh, I Am Recovered program? Amen. Okay. So listen to this. Overflow is identity. Affirm, like who you are, what you speak, amen, identity, beloved child of God, amen, who you are, what you speak, what you think of, what you receive from Lord Jesus Christ, what you have exchanged, amen, amen, Christ, hallelujah, all the way up to overflow yeah. is every single step amen. all rolled into one, yeah. amen. Where they all converge together. 
not just one or the other, but they all converge together to this overflow. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. And as children of God, this is where we're supposed to live, yes. in the overflow. Amen. Amen? So if you want to talk about it in a practical sense, okay, you have $10, okay? Praise God, we got $10. You're going to go get gas, right? And it costs $10. You pay for gas. Are you in the overflow now? No. 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 You got what you needed. But, you don't get you. but no, now you're not in the overflow, right? Mm -hmm. But see, if you had $20 and you got 10 gas, you're still in overflow. You're still good, right? Mm -hmm. You could go back for more. There's more to get, mm -hmm. right? But most of the time, we live either below the $10 line or right at that $10 line. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. In a practical sense? Yeah. Okay, so when we talk about overflow, all these things, every step that we've learned up to this part, all comes together as one. And it all flows together. Or you can look at it like this. <clears throat> Here I am, mercy, Father. Here I am, Lord Jesus Christ, grace, Son, plus... Here I am, Holy Spirit, peace, all equals overflow. Meaning, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit all come together, all at the same time, flowing through us. Amen. 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 This is the power of God. <coughs> Amen. Amen. This is the power of God. That's why we talked about in the beginning when God spoke and it happened and it, Right? There was light. Yeah. Amen. Creation began. And his creation is still growing and growing and growing. There are billions upon billions upon billions of galaxies being made. Because he spoke that one word. Hallelujah. See, that's the power of God. And he gave us his power to speak life. Amen. Amen. Or and we learned about the other side. Right? We learned about the other side. Everything you say that isn't of God, all the demons hear you too. Yes. And they come running. Amen? Amen? And we talked about some of those things, some of those hook hiccups that we talk about. When you say, I got, and it's not a good thing, guess what? You just claim that. So guess what you got? That thing you just said. And you're going to have it tomorrow because you said it today. Is that overflow? No. no. It's not overflow in Holy Spirit. Preach. Amen. It's a Amen. distraction. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, we talked about all the things that keep us from being in the overflow. To be in, in, this, in this convergence of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit all the time. Amen. And so we talked in our small groups about that. Right? Right. But what we're going to talk about tonight is not about the things we got to get rid of, but the things we need to do. Amen. Amen. Good word. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so we have Friday night fights coming up, right? And ours is spiritual fights. But if you're a fighter, like a UFC <coughs> fighter, and you're in the ring, Come before on. you ever get to that ring, yeah. oh, you best be ready. Yeah. Right? Amen. You best be ready, or they're going to be dragging you out of that ring. <laughs> right? You don't just show up one day and go, you know what? I want to be a UFC fighter. Right. Does everybody know what a UFC fighter is? Yeah. Come on now. Yes. Right? Yes. You all know that? Listen, it's brutal. Yep. You don't walk in there unless you know what you're doing. Amen. 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 <laughs> right? But hear me. To have the overflow of God is not just something you wake up one day and you know what? I want the overflow of God. Okay, go ahead. Overflow me. There's work to do. Amen. Amen. There is work to do. Amen. Amen. Powerful Listen, work. <laughs> If we, if, we, if we follow Lord Jesus, amen, praise God, there's work to do. That's why we go through all those steps. Amen? And so when you get there, okay, let me put it this way. Everybody in here who has received Lord Jesus Christ, raise your hand. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, at that very instant, in that very split of a second, you had over. Amen. 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, whoosh, just rushed in. Amen? Amen. It was there. It was miraculous. The most incredible thing that's ever happened to you in your whole entire life. 
Some of the things you can't even speak out because you, you, there's no words to explain what just happened. It's like an out-of-body experience, but yet you're right there. Amen. Yes. Right? Amen. And, and, and to tell somebody about it is like, you, you do the best you can, but it's, it's, it's miraculous. Yes. Right? Yep. But Thank then you, as Lord the Jesus. day goes on and the next day goes on and the next day goes on and maybe a month or two goes by. Preach. Why don't you feel the same way? No overflow. You're not doing the work. No overflow, right? Yeah. And whether anybody's ever told you or not, you, you got to go back to the source. Yeah. Okay, so here's the question. What's the source? Yes. What's Amen. the source that you're running to for your overflow? Amen. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Praise God, Pastor. Amen. So you could run to the Bible, which a lot of people do. You could run to service. Praise God. Those things are great, right? As many people do. But the Bible isn't the overflow. Relationship. Holy Spirit is the overflow. The place that you meet to have service isn't the overflow. No. Amen. Spirit. There is one source. Yes. Father God. Amen. Amen. Father God. Amen. And so the word of God tells us one way. One way. So that's the way I'm going to say it. However you do it is you're doing it. But to do this, to go into your room, to enter your closet, your secret place, and close the door. And say this. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Like Here every am. prophet in the Bible. Here I am. Amen. What Amen. Adam and Eve should have said Amen. in the garden. Here Amen. I am. Amen. 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 And just talk to your father. Praise God. Praise See, God. When we go to the Bible, we can learn about God, and Holy Spirit is the teacher, and he'll teach us about God. Amen? Amen. But like we talk all the time, do I have one in here? Yes, I do. Okay, so Pastor Joey wrote this book. Holy Spirit wrote this book through Pastor Joey. Amen. Okay? Yes. It has his testimony in here, the I Am Recovered book. It has his testimony in here. Amen? So you can read this, and you can learn all about him. But do you know him? Amen. Amen. Yeah. See, this is the difference between a, a church goer, right? And just a Bible reader. Amen. Those things are great. Don't stop doing it. But you have to know our Father. Yes. Amen. 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 He's real. So it's one of those things you can read this and know a lot. But do you know my beloved like I know my beloved yeah. from reading this book? No. 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 And Father cries out to us every single day. Yes. He cries out to us to come, to come, to come see him every single day. Amen? Amen. And it's in that moment that we overflow in him. Amen? Amen. Amen. But say this with me. There's more. There's, There's more. more. But wait. But wait. For 1995. No. Yeah. Okay. No. But there's more. Okay? So yes, you can be in that space and you can be in your closet, wherever your closet is, and be overflown in Holy Spirit. Yeah. Amen. But what happens when you walk out that door? Chaos. It's a world taking with you. Right? So how long do you last throughout the day before the world starts coming in? Okay, so here's the thing. We are supposed to walk in the Spirit. Right. Meaning we are to walk in the overflow. That's so yeah. powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank Pray you, without Lord. ceasing. Too. Pray without ceasing. Amen. So it's all of these, all of these six things all together, knowing who you are, speaking life over yourself, meditating on all the things you're supposed to be meditating on, getting rid of everything that you need to get rid of, right, and yielding to the Spirit. Hallelujah. All these things together work together to be in this overflow. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, Lord. Okay. So we've been doing things wrong, not we. But as Christians, we've been doing things wrong for a very long time. Yes. Amen. 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 We come, we listen. We used to. We come and listen to a person preach about God. 
and then we go home, and that's a whole entire relationship. And we learn that's just religion. Amen. That's not relationship. That's right. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ came so we could have our Father. Amen. 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 Relationally. Yes. Relationally. Amen. So we're to talk to him every single day. But when we do all these things and we focus on Lord Jesus Christ and we talk to Holy Spirit all day long, right? And we keep our thoughts where we need to keep our thoughts. We read the Bible and we listen to worship music, right? That's right. Then the result should be Galatians, amen, all the fruits of Holy right. Spirit. Amen. amen. Right? Amen. Peace, love, joy, happiness, kindness, amen. all these things should flow. <laughs> Every minute of every moment of every day. Yes. Yes. Okay. And now I want you all to be Thank completely you, honest at this moment. Please do not lie in the worship center. I'm not, that's not what I'm asking you. But if you are always, 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 always in the overflow, 24, 365, raise your hand. Thank you all for not lying, because we're all there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we're all there. Amen? Right, yeah. This is where we're he headed. This is what we're supposed to be doing. But we need to know that it's our responsibility, Amen. each and every one of us, to be in the overflow Amen. before we walk in those doors. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Before you even come in the door, before you walk out your door, Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit said this. He said, listen, when, when one righteous man or woman prays, a thousand demons take flight. Hallelujah. When two righteous people come together, Thank you, men Lord and Jesus women, Christ. and they pray together, Hallelujah. they send 10,000 10, demons in the world. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. But wait. Look around this room. Is there more than two? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sending millions of flight. See? Amen. Could you imagine the power of God if we walked in this place already overflowing? Woo! Hallelujah! Could you imagine the brothers and sisters and children of Christ, what we could do, what we could accomplish? Preach, sis. Through the power of Holy Spirit and their overflow through us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right? Did I go through this way too quickly? Maybe I did. I don't know, but I'm going to read this. Let's see. I got my alarm set so I don't go. Oh, we are almost there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, body, soul, and spirit all converging together. One spirit, one body, one truth in the overflow. Amen. Amen. That we are focused on God. We're speaking. You know, we're getting rid of all the things we're not supposed to do and all the things that need to come out. Right? Okay, so all these things have to work together. Amen? But hear me now. Hear me. Like, it's, like Holy Spirit said, the very instant you received Lord Jesus Christ, it all happened. Yeah. It all happened just like that. Let me ask you, did you know what step one was? When you received Lord Jesus Christ? No. I didn't. No. Did you know what step two was? No. Nope. nope. Three? No. How about four? No. Huh? But it all happened, right? Because we were finally at that place. Hallelujah. That all we needed, yes. you know, I, 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 we just, I need you. Yes. Amen. God Amen. help me. Amen. 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 Whatever. I mean, it didn't have to be. You just cried out with everything in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Because most of us were all the way down beyond the pig pen to the lowest of the lowest. And all we could do was cry out. Didn't Amen. know how to pray. Didn't know what to say. Amen? Amen. Amen. But you went up through all the steps and you overflowed in Holy Spirit. So hear me now. <laughs> we have to be mindful of those things. But when you didn't know anything, it happened. When you didn't know anything, it happened. But all of you was focused on save me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Do you see? 
all of you, mind, body, and spirit, all together. Yes, in we're agreement. We're focused on saving, saving. Mm -hmm. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit said, I got you. Amen. I got you. Oh, I got you. Amen. Hallelujah. So even though there's steps, when you're flowing in Holy Spirit, you just flow. Yeah. He goes through every step. And like we said, it's like an onion. And he peels all those layers off. Amen. Whenever it's right, whenever it's time, whenever we're ready to let go. Right? And that just changes how powerful that overflow is. Amen? Amen. All right. So, I'm going to read this part. Okay. So, on page 230 in the I Am My Beloved book, I forgot to change my contact. So, we're going to do this the best we can. Here we go. <laughs> now, as you draw closer and closer, or as we say, gooder and gooder, to the Father God and become intimate with agape. The beauty of this relationship with Holy Spirit is that the word, Lord Jesus Christ, his word is alive in you. Holy Spirit not only knows you by name and has sealed you for eternity, but above all, Father God seeks after your intimacy. You. Father God longs to see you, to hear from you, to feel you, to bless you in his anointing of Holy Spirit to expose the voice of the enemy, the lies, the deceit, the garbage, the plots. Holy Spirit light will expose everything. Amen. Amen. Taking off those layers. Amen. Of that onion. Amen. Amen. It is in this exercise that we must demonstrate the most powerful act of worship into agape. And that is repentance. Thank you. Repentance. It is up to us as his beloved children we listen to the lies of the enemy or will we listen to Holy Spirit, extract that enemy and crucify those things that do not belong in me for I am my beloved. Amen. 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 All right. So we have just a couple seconds here and a couple minutes. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is what Holy Spirit showed me, showed me today. All right. Um, I just forgot the, the title. What is it? Braveheart. How many of y'all seen Braveheart? Y'all seen that movie Braveheart? Okay. Well, there is an epic scene in Braveheart. When they're getting ready to fight the battle, they're all getting ready to fight the battle, and they're all painted in blue and red. And they're all, and they've just been out there going, ah, and they're ready to go, right? Amen. Right? But the guy, no, guess, no, thank you very much. The guy is out there, and he's in front of them, and he's like their leader, and he's like, hold Hold, and they're all the way down the line, and all the way down the line, right? Wait, hold, okay? The enemy's coming. The enemy's coming. Hold. You all see it? Can you yeah. see it? Yep. Remember that in Braveheart? Yeah. Okay, now close your eyes. Think upon that. Think upon that. Think upon that. Keep your eyes closed. Think upon that moment, right? The enemy's coming. The enemy's coming, and they are way outnumbered, right? But they're all there, ready to fight. All in battle gear, ready to go, right? And he's saying, hold. Now keep your eyes closed for just a second. It's that moment. It's that moment that Father God says, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. Now stay right there. Stay right there. Okay? I don't know if I can pull this up. There's a story in the Bible about Elijah. And Elijah and his servant were out. And they were right there where they are. Right? All these guys are coming. They are way outnumbered. Right? And they're all just standing there. Hold the line. Hold the line. Right? Move. Don't move. Hold. Hold. Right? But they can all hear the horses. They can all feel the ground shaking. All these guys are just running towards them. Right? So this is happening to Elijah and to his assistant. And Elijah says... Don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those with them. Amen. Amen. No, wait, wait, wait. Keep your eyes closed. Okay? Then Elijah prayed. <laughs> and open, he said this. Open his eyes. Not you all. This is what he said to his assistant. Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. And this is what happened. Keep your eyes closed. See if you can imagine this. Okay, the enemy's coming. He's running. All your guys are here. They're waiting to go. They're ready. You can hear them all just waiting to fight. And Father God says, be still and know that I am God. And Elijah says, open his eyes 
so he can see. And when he opened his eyes, he saw chariots of fire. He saw angels all around him. Amen? Fighting. Fighting from them. Way outnumbering the enemy. Amen? So hear me, beloveds. When we're overflowing, when we're in that presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is flowing, right? And you can feel it. You can move. You, you can just, your whole body just moves with that flow. And you don't know where he ends and you begin. And then he says, open your eyes and see all that are around us to fight for you. Amen. This is our spiritual battle every single day. Amen. But it's in when we're in this flow that all these things take place. And there's nothing, nothing that can stand against the power of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. You can open your eyes now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is who you are. This is who you are. Amen? The overflow is very important for us to do that every single day. Amen? Amen. To wake up in the morning and before you even leave the house to get in with Father and to get into that overflow. Get your mind right. Know what you're speaking. Amen? Get Amen. rid of all those things. And it takes... It's not like it takes four hours. It, it happens just like that. That's right. Amen. Amen. When you're in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But ask Father God. Actually, Father God, open our eyes. Open our eyes. Father. Open our eyes, Father. Thank you. So that we may see. So you can see the angels all around you. <laughs> all around you fighting. You are not alone. Amen. And he commands his armies all around you to fight your battles to go before you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Alright, so this is what we're talking about now and this is so important because it's that moment, it's that convergence, all legions of angels are all around and you hear our pastor all the time saying that when you step on the scene <laughs> the demons flee. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All this is all taking place all at the same time. Amen? Amen. Okay, this is step seven, but why this is so important and that we have to get this before we move on, because the next one is love. When we're in this, this is when we go. This is when we go into all the different, you know, facilities, into the jails, because we're overflowing. It's him. It's that convergence of everything together that loves. Amen. Not us. Amen. 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 That's it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God.